Hey everyone, Jeff Belknap here with Dirt Bike Test. We are out here at round five for the NGPC series at Prim, Nevada. A um, few little updates we've done to this bike since you've last seen us. Uh, we added an IMS tank just for that little extra security of knowing we got enough fuel to get across the finish line. Um, those first two rounds came very close, so uh, having the little addition of this, we should be in good shape. Um, the other thing we did do was we played with a little gearing. Um, we ended up with uh, Mika. They helped us out. We did end up with the stock gearing. Um, we went up a tooth, went down a tooth, tried a few different things, and honestly, for us, the stock gearing worked out great. Um, the other thing we did, which if you go back and look at some one of our articles, we did the uh, coupler test. Uh, we are on the most aggressive one, which is the white coupler. And like I said, once again, the gearing with the white coupler for us seems to be the perfect package. Um, and then lastly, we did add a Dunlop MX-14 scoop. It's kind of been the rage to talk about, and we wanted to give it a shot out here. It's a little sandy here, so it should be really good for us hooking up. Um, it does have a little hard pack, so we should have some good feedback for you guys on that tire as well. Um, other than that, we really haven't done any other modifications to the bike. Our suspension, when we first did it, was already set up for the larger tank, so we didn't have to go back and do any um, any additional valving or spring rate change. Uh, we kind of went into this knowing that was a modification we were going to make. Um, and other than that, uh, stay tuned. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Uh, we'll be racing the VET 30 class uh, expert 250, so we'll see how we do and have some fun, and we'll be back to with you guys afterwards. Thank you. We just finished up our weekend of racing out here at Prim Nevada for the NGPC series. Uh, really happy with what I've taken away on the upgrades that we've added in our stage two portion of this build. Um, like we mentioned in the beginning, we added the IMS oversized tank, which thank you to them. That really gave us that confidence of not worrying about running out of fuel. Although I think we have been really, really close in the stock tank. We, we probably could have pulled it off, but just nice having that confidence, knowing that uh, we don't have to worry about that. So great, great addition to that. Highly recommend it. Easy bolt-on, nothing really crazy to do. You know, simple, simple bolt-on, maybe an hour and a half, and, and away you go for that. Um, the Mika gearing, like I said, once again, we ended up with the stock ratio, um, but just a little bit stronger chain, um, you know, lightweight uh, rear sprocket. So uh, thank you to them for their support. Um, HM, you know, they've been doing a great job for us on the suspension on this build. We just played with a couple little clicks as the course kind of changed uh, throughout the day. Um, went a hair stiffer, um, which I wasn't too sure, but uh, as the whoops kind of got a little deeper out here, making a couple clicks uh, really made a great difference. So thank you to them. Um, on to the MX-14 tire. This is where I was a little leery running this here. Um, but I wanted to try it. And in the soft dirt, everywhere it actually worked very, very well. I was a little hesitant because out here at Prim, as you can see behind us, part of this was an old short course uh, for a wheel vehicle course. So it's really hard pack and slick. And when these guys get to watering out here, if they overwater it, it's like riding on grease, um, super tough. So luckily uh, the watering situation was, they did a great job so we didn't run into that, but the tire, even in those conditions that we had, the tire worked phenomenal. Um, first time using it here, like I said, in these type of conditions, um, but man, it worked great. And we even had a small uh, section in the back back here that had some pavement. Um, you know, first little tentative, just not knowing the tire, what it was gonna do. And the sidewall grip worked awesome, just like a regular knobby tire. Um, and then, like I said, it was able to kind of pull us through some of that sand area, because we had a couple of good corners and sections that it was more, uh, a little bit more on the soft side. Um, you know, wouldn't call it heavy sand, but just that lighter sand, um, but really helped us because at the end of the day, we do know the Suzuki, you know, power wise is on, on the little bit lower side compared to some of the other models out there. Um, but we're still running the aggressive map, um, working good for us. Um, the only other thing, like I said, for us, just on the negative side, running and racing this bike here in the off-road series, just comes down to the the dead engine starts that we do now like like the east coast guys do in gncc so we're, we're a little bit of a disadvantage kicking it but man we got lucky everything worked out great today it was one kick and bike fired and off we went so 
really stoked we came out of here in a second place finish in the vet expert class so uh 250 sorry 250 vet expert class um so really happy we're having fun in this series really enjoying doing this off-road build with suzuki um, appreciate their help um, along with the other brands uh, that have helped us so far uh, rad custom graphics dunlop tires mika metals ims thank you for all your support um, gonna try a few more ideas that we have for this bike and want to continue to build on there's a few more rounds left in the year on this bike so we're hoping to uh, get some get some of that kind of done we have a little bit of a break over the summer here so hopefully we'll get to try and test maybe a couple more products and give you guys some feedback on that but overall very very happy with the way this bike handles and works and it's just a very easy bike to ride and i really highly recommend a lot of people to throw a leg over one and try it if you if you get the opportunity i think you'll really enjoy it uh, as of late we've been riding a lot of different bikes and i'll tell you what this bike's one of the best handling bikes you're going to come across in the moto side and like i said off-road side for what we're using it to because we're kind of building this thing as the off-road side so but keep keep an eye out uh for more of us more of the dirt bike test components to come on this thing and more videos to come thank you guys for being back. If you liked what you saw in this video, come check us out over at dirtbiketest.com on the webs. We have bike tests, product tests, a lot of fresh dirt, and you can even support us by clicking through our links. Hopefully we'll see you out in the trail.